Hey guys, welcome back. I've been horrible lately on recording. I've been re I've been horrible. I've been horrible at recording, but today I'm making corn cob syrup. Yes, it is slightly different than the jelly. I'm going to tell you what I did already because I, again, horrible, forgot to pick up the camera. But for starters, you take your corn cobs, you put them into a pot, cover them with water, and you simmer it for two hours. Yes, two hours. I put it in the crock pot on high. Left it be for about two and a half hours because it takes a little bit for the temperature to build up. Then, once that's done, you strain the corn cobs out, the corn, anything else, and then you measure out how much liquid you have. For every cup of liquid, you do a ha half a cup of sugar. You can use white and brown sugar. I do half and half. So for me right now, I have seven cups of liquid, so I have three and a half cups of sugar that has to go into this. So let's dive in. So this is my already measured out liquid. I've already strained it and measured. So it's seven cups of liquid. It's got a nice yellowish tint to it. Nothing too extreme. I'm doing it this way too, because yesterday I did some on the stove and it got the house so hot. So this will keep the house from getting so hot because it does run for so long. Now I need three and a half cups of sugar, so I do half and half. So what I do, I'm gonna be doing is one and three quarters of white sugar and one and three quarters of brown sugar. Um, really, the brown sugar just darkens it a little bit. This to me tastes a lot like maple syrup. So kind of makes it look more like maple syrup, I guess it's mind over matter but let's dive in plain old white sugar So it's going to be one and three-fourths of each. Now, if you don't want it as dark, you can do mostly the white sugar. The white sugar is going to create it to be more of a yellowish, clear, not anything dark. The dark will bring it more of like a syrupy color. And then we need that one and three-quarters of the light brown sugar or dark brown sugar, whichever one you have. I usually have the light brown sugar. Now you're gonna stir this up to dissolve everything and then just leave it uncovered on high and let it kind of thicken, evaporate some of the moisture off. Um, until you get to the thickened consistency you want. I thickened it to about like a maple syrup consistency. Um, you can go thicker. Obviously, the thicker it goes, the less yield you're going to get out of this. So, keep that in mind. If you want a certain number of jars, keep it thinner. But if it doesn't matter, get it to your thickness. I'm going to stir this up and then I'm just going to bring you guys back as we get closer. Because what are you watching? Literally nothing. So guys, I can really say I suck today. But once it is up to your desired thickness, you're going to pour them into your jars. Since it is hot, make sure your jars are hot as well. Then you're going to debubble it with either a butter knife or the debubbling tool. Just kind of run it down the sides of the jar to get the bubbles out. Wipe your rim and put your lid on. Make sure your lid is only finger tight. Don't over tighten it because um, it can cause buckling of the lids and it can cause false seals and everything else. And then you're going to throw it in the water bath um, for 10 minutes once it's at a rolling boil. So don't start your timer until it is boiling and then it's 10 minutes at a rolling boil. Guys, sorry, I've just really been bad about picking up this camera the last couple days. Hopefully you guys understand this. It's a fairly simple recipe and it tastes very good. Um, also optional, you can put a tablespoon um, of vanilla extract in, or you can leave it. I did put the vanilla extract in, it leaves it a little bit more vanilla tasting, but it is delicious either way. 